How's it going everyone? I'm Anna Molina. If you follow us on Instagram, you probably saw this video coming. I posted a picture of the Bose QC30s next to the Powerbeats 3s and asked you guys which ones you wanted to see first. And the overwhelming response was for the Bose QC30s. So here they are. Bose has been at the top of the active noise canceling game for a while now. And they're finally getting competitors to their over ears, i.e. Sony. But when it comes to earbuds, they're still king. These now have new active noise canceling controls, but are they worth the price tag? Let's find out. The box is no different than any other Bose product. It's just a white and blue box with a picture of the product on the front. Once you open it, you'll get the headphones, a CD shaped hard shell carrying case, two extra sizes of ear tips, a micro USB charging cable, and the warranty information and instruction booklet. The QC30s are Bose's first attempt at neck buds. The earbud is attached to a wire, which is then attached to a neck piece. We've seen this design done plenty of times before, especially by LG, but I personally like this minimal style a lot better. They have a minimal look to them that reminds me of a mix between the sturdy LG tones and something like the Soul Republic shadows. On the inside of the neckband, you'll find a single raised button and two small LED indicator lights for battery and Bluetooth pairing. The rest of the soft plastic build is bare, with only a small Bose logo on the end, which I'm okay with. There's also a small flap that pulls back to reveal the micro USB input for charging, but that's about it. This minimal look is definitely my style. The earbuds are also attached by two wires towards the back of the neckband, so they rarely get pulled accidentally because how often do you reach behind your head for something? So one thing I did notice was that the neck piece doesn't do a great job at staying in place. It never completely fell off, even with a ton of movement, but it did get jumbled a bit, and I did have to readjust it a couple times. On the wire connecting the right earbud is where you'll find a small control module with a surprising amount of functionality. Like other Bose wires, there's three buttons that let you control playback and a mic for phone calls. What you won't find on other wires are the two buttons on the side of the control module. These two buttons let you adjust the amount of noise cancelling, which is kind of great. If you're in a coffee shop and need to really drown out everything going on around you, you can do that, and I have. And then if you're on the train and need to be aware of the announcements, you can lower the ANC to hear what's going on, which I've also done. As far as fit goes, these use Bose's signature stay here tips, which fit my ear perfectly, but your mileage may vary. Of course, Bose does include two extra sizes to help you get the perfect fit, but if none of them work, it's going to be hard finding third party tips to fit these. As far as Bluetooth strength goes, I did have more issues with these than I do with other Bluetooth headphones. Even when my phone was just in my pocket or within arm's reach on my desk, music stuttered maybe once every 5 or 10 minutes, which is way too often for me, especially when I'm that close. If my phone is in my pocket, it kind of skips, and if I go more than 20 feet away, the music starts to skip slightly too. It's not enough to ruin the song, but it was annoying enough for me to reconnect it to see if that would fix the issue. It didn't. Luckily these do have NFC, so pairing is easy, but playback still seems to be a little rough around the edges. The single button on the inside acts as both the power button and the Bluetooth pairing button. For most of the functionality, you're going to have to reach for the control module on the cable. Here you'll find the volume up and down buttons, sandwiching a multi-function button in between them. By tapping the multi-function button once, you can pause or play music and answer phone calls. Double tapping will skip to the next song, while triple tapping returns to a previous song. Holding down the button will also activate the voice assistant on your phone. You can also use the Bose Connect app to do all of this, and even get some extra functionality. Rather than adjusting noise cancelling on the headphones, you can do this in the app. You can also name your device, and using the music share feature, stream your music to another pair of Bose headphones, so you and a friend can listen to the same thing. So Bose claims a battery life of 10 hours with active noise cancelling, and that was pretty spot on. It was actually spot on exactly, like I literally got 10 hours of battery life. It was kind of cool. I wish everything was that easy. A 10 hour battery life is above average when it comes to Bluetooth earbuds on its own, but then you throw in the fact that it also includes noise cancelling and it's pretty impressive. But then you remember that you're wearing a giant neckband and I have to wonder how they weren't able to make these last even longer. Don't get me wrong, 10 hours is fine for average use I guess, but if you're getting on a long flight, these might not make it through the entire flight. I just don't see why they couldn't fit more battery in the neckband and make these last like 20 hours. Bose is known for their active noise cancelling, and these are no exception. Though the strength of the noise cancelling is still really good, I did find that the previous QC20s were slightly stronger. But that said, the ability to manually adjust the amount of noise cancelling, hence the name Quiet Control, is well worth the drop off in my opinion. As is the case with most of Bose products, there's a heavy emphasis on the low end here. Maybe not as much as someone like Beats, but it's enough to make it noticeable on first listen. That said, it's not overbearing, so if you like a certain amount of bump to your music, these might just do you justice. The bass in Something About Us by Daft Punk 
Doesn't make your head rattle by any means, but you'll definitely feel it in your ears. Mids sound good in most songs, but I did find that there was a little too much on vocals which kept them from sounding great. In the song Nights by Frank Ocean, his vocals cut through the guitar and background elements rather than just floating over them. The highs were rolled off a good amount and there isn't any harshness to speak of which is what you'd expect from a giant company like Bose. Of course there isn't a ton of detail here, but unless you really know what to look for anyway, you probably won't miss it. It's still a fairly full sound, so overall I think Bose was just slightly off the mark with the Quad Control 30s. There are just enough cons to make you really question whether these are worth a $299 price tag. On one hand, I do really like the design and the Stay Here Plus tips definitely stay in my ears. But on the other hand, I had issues with music playback even when the phone was within arm's reach. Again, on one hand, the active noise cancelling is still top notch, and the ability to manually adjust the strength is actually a feature I find really useful. But on the other hand, the neckband is easily disheveled and requires repositioning throughout the day. Then you throw in the $300 price tag and just a decent 10 hour battery life, and it's really hard to recommend these unless you have money to blow. If you want the famous active noise cancelling that Bose provides in a wireless earbud fashion then there's really no other option. But for me, I'm sticking with the QC20s just because I could still plug them in and use them as headphones when they die and the active noise cancelling lasts just a little bit longer. We're giving the Bose Quiet Control 30s a 7.6 out of 10. And that pretty much does it for our review of the Bose QC30s. Thanks for watching. If you want to know more about these headphones or any of the other products we review, Make sure to check out soundguys.com. While you're here, subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already, and sign up to our monthly newsletter so you can stay up to date with all the news, reviews, and audio news here at SoundGuys. All of that information can be found down in the description below. I'm Adam Molina. I'll see you later.